Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Di uh, Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to senders. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the purest of white light and pray that you stay on it in the purest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our terror read. Uh, so for someone out there, there's a whole community of people that are weighed down um, about you getting wish fulfillment, you getting some type of marriage proposal, a partnership with someone. And this is something they've been trying to block from for a while, trying to steal it from you through manipulation and things like that. If you are supposed to re be receiving any type of good news, this whole community has been interfering. They're trying to cause you some type of ending laws so that you can move on, right? Uh, they don't want you sticking to your path. They're causing stagnations and blockages still miss everything you can think of they don't want you seeing the truth there's something where people are doing some type of manipulation it's like a what it, uh what is the word for it <laughs> it's an illusion and they're hoping that you don't see through the illusion so it's like they want you to think that everybody is against you or something of that nature but that's not the truth they're basically just really working to cause stagnation defeat you in order to block you from having a brand new passionate beginning a fresh start um they want you to stay stuck in your mind either about a king of pentacles or they want a king of pentacles to stay stuck in his mind about giving you an offer bringing balance into a situation there is something where also, yeah, this is God's honest truth. You may be bring, uh, you may be receiving some type of opportunity uh, coming up in the future or some type of blessing or abundance that is due to you. And this is from the most high and it's coming from an emperor. There is something where in an institution. So you know how some of us, we are ordained by the most high. And then there are people that are ordained by their peers. So there's some type of rivalry going on between uh, a high priestess and someone that is in a high ranking position this is this is possibly an emperor energy okay uh so this person may want to take some type of action to block you block your work your forward movement right block any type of new beginnings for you the reason why this emperor wants to do this is because this emperor has been living for quite a long time hearing people say that they are gifted they are intuitive they are this they are that uh, but there aren't, he's never really met anyone really intuitive or gifted. People just claim that. But for some reason, he's come ac across you and he knows that you are the truth. So he's trying to decide if he should let you go forward and have your victory because he knows that you've worked really hard and you are someone that's truly gifted, someone that's divinely guided, someone that's very protected. Should he allow you to have your victory or should he end your work? Because you've put up quite a brave fight. You've been moving forward regardless of what people are doing. So this man is just sitting in the background trying to make a decision if he should let you be successful, if they should partner up with you, um, if they should just let you be you and move forward in life. Okay, be successful, right? Um, because you could be a higher fan as well. He sees you as someone that's very powerful. Someone was in denial of your gifts. Um, but there's something that has been illuminated to him where now he knows that you are absolutely the truth um, and your gifts could lead to a lot of abundance for you. Yeah, a lot of abundance for you, right? Like empires and things like that. What this man is feeling is a little bit of an intimidation as well, even though he's high ranking. Someone is high ranking in the physical, but they don't have any type of spiritual authority in the spirit realm. So basically, this is someone that has been ordained by his peers or people um, that he is gifted, but he's not really gifted. Someone does not have foresight. OK, this is someone who has to go to other practitioners to get an insight on what he needs to know. And here you are. You say you're gifted. And you actually are gifted. So it has him in some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment. He does not know how to go about this. Um, he may be wanting to put an end to your journey, but he also knows there are ramifications for doing things like that. Right. So he's caught up in his head if he should let you go ahead and receive your abundance and be successful in life. 
or should he block you and have you trapped in some way, shape, or form? And he's going back and forth in his mind. Although this man may not be gifted, he is quite aware of the ramifications of blocking your, your journey, calling, causing blockages, weighing you down and things like that, because he knows it's going to backfire on him. This is like, uh, like a, a, a warlock, a high ranking warlock going out of his way to end a high priestess, a star sea, empress energies, a journey. For no reason at all, just because of the simple fact that you are absolutely powerful and in control of your destiny. And he knows that the universe supports you. If the universe had to choose between you and him, it will be you any any day of the week. Okay. And he also knows that if he tempers with your journey, yes, his kingdom could come down, crash, could come crashing down at any moment. So this emperor has a lot that he needs to think about before taking whatever action it is he thinks he should take or whatever action he decides to take because there's something he's not seeing. He may be kind of living in fear, not really letting it show to his people, to his community, uh, because he's realizing that you are the true deal. Okay, a lot of people come out here. Yeah, he has some type of awareness and he knows that you are someone with some type of higher knowledge that other people don't have. You're someone quite unique, right? And this emperor knows that. Um, I think initially when he started watching you, he was unsure. He was like, uh, I don't know, but there's something that has happened. You may have predicted something and a prophecy came through. Quite a few of your prophecies have come through and it has this masculine, this warlock or whoever this is, this high ranking official in an organization, i.e. a cult or clothing, some type of uh, organization behind the scenes. Yeah, it has him feeling some type of way. It's like I can take action and block this person forward movement or I can go towards them and give them some type of offer. Right. Yeah, this is an emperor. Going back and forth in his mind, right? Should he stay away or come towards you and give you some type of offer, right? Should he come towards you? Should he pick a fight for you, with you? Should he uh, advocate for you? What should he do? The, uh, whatever decision this man makes, there's really no one in the physical that can contradict it or can uh, refute it. Like his decision is final. This is someone that's very high ranking and it's not because he's gifted. Once again, he's not gifted. This is just someone that has worked, that has worked his way up to the top in an organ, in an organization. So he's not gifted like you. Okay. He does not, he does not have any type of spiritual authority in the spirit realm. He does not have any type of spiritual clearance, but you as the queen of wands out here, you have a lot of spiritual clearance, right? So you're someone who's very fiery. You're like a warrior queen, right? Warrior princess, whatever you want to call yourself. And you are extremely gifted. And with this magician coming out repeatedly, that lets me know that you are supported by the divine and you actually have the upper hand in this situation because whatever action this emperor takes against you, if it's deceitful, uh, if he de uh, decides to block your forward movement just so he can come in and give you an offer and make it seem like he wants to work with you, just so that he can trap you is going to lead to an ending for him and you yourself um, in some way. But you will recover. He won't be able to recover. So this is like an emperor taking some type of malicious step to end his kingdom while trying to end yours before it even begins. Okay. So someone is absolutely stuck. They don't know what to do, what move to make. Um, but if you see this emperor, he's going to look like he has it all put together. Uh, with this message coming out, someone may even watch this and be kind of alarmed with the fact that someone knows what the heck is going on in his head, right? He's burdened by this decision or by this situation because he knows whatever decision he makes, he's going to be under judgment. If he makes the wrong one, it's going to be the end for him. So it may be best for him to walk away, right? So uh, this is just an emperor that's going through some type of awakening. As I said again, you know, a lot of the times we meet people that say they are high priestesses, they're gifted, they're a higher fan, they're a magician, they're this, they're that, they're everything in the book. But they don't have any of those gifts. They're just causing illusions, telling lies to themselves to make themselves feel good. All right. Um, what this man has witnessed when it comes to you is out of this world. OK, this could be a king of pentacles uh, emperor. What he has witnessed is out of this world. Someone is very much in control of his environment. It's like one of those people where he says move and you move and no one asks any question. He's very uh 
like I discipline like he, this is someone that operates like he's very like it's a control environment there's no question there's no asking questions when he tells you to do something or when he makes an order right so everything around this man is controlled right he's the one that decides who gets what who does what who is who basically in his world right everything revolves around him and he's used to being able to control people bribe people but for some reason it comes to you he has to wonder he's thinking he said oh my gosh this person is causing me some type of glitch like you you are a glitch in the matrix whereas when he meets most people he can just gaslight them and play with them right he can just give them anything and they're okay with it but you are someone that's self-sufficient you're not out here looking for handouts i don't care how much you have in your bank account you're not out here looking for a handout from this emperor and it's kind of catching him off guard because he knows that you know you are secure you are protected and you are supported by the universe right um so this this is something that's kind of catching him off guard. There may be something where he decides that, hey, I'm going to go in and give her an offer or give him an offer because, you know, energy is fluid in terror. This could be a man or a woman that's a high priestess and extremely gifted. He could say, I'm going to go in and give her an offer. If she refuses it, then I'll just destroy her path. He can say that fine and dandy and that's okay. Yeah, you are absolutely a high priestess, very gifted, very talented, Okay very skilled wise knowing you know things other people don't know and he knows that but it's fine and dandy for this emperor to say that he can just destroy your pathway but he knows right he's probably gonna have to go within yeah this is an emperor he's gonna have to think really hard about this one before taking any type of drastic action because whatever he does there will be some type of result out of it, whether good or bad. So if he chooses to leave you alone so that you can sail onto calmer waters and build your kingdom or fulfill your purpose in life and be successful in life or come, to come together with someone, um, then you know his kingdom is fine. He has nothing to worry about. He can go on fine and dandy controlling his environment and the rest of his subjects that operate under him take, control, take orders from him. But if this man decides to hinder your forward movement, to, if he decides to steal from you, block you, do something that is just going to cause some type of hindrance in your path, on your life path, it's not going to be pretty for him. He's going to really live to regret it. Okay. Someone is trying to block fulfillment. Yeah. It's not going to be good for him. It's not going to be good for him. And I think he knows that. So whatever plan he's trying to go forward with, he's going to have to take a lot of time time, and think about it because someone knows that you have a lot of protection, a lot of clearance in the spirit realm. People live out here, blase, blase. They don't really understand spirituality, but this is someone that absolutely has awareness of what could happen if he tempers with your energy, right? with your work your commitment your offers and things like that because he knows you are true you are the truth you have a direct connection to source right so this person may want to come in and give you some type of offer because they want to work with you but there is some type of ulterior motive so you may want to think about it stand your ground against these people because you are supported by the most high whatever offer they're coming in to give you is an illusion it's meant to trap you so you need to walk away and he's going to have to walk away because he has a higher understanding of what lies ahead he knows that you are truly a queen of cups okay you are truly a queen of cups there is someone in their community as well who is a queen of cups in the reverse that has been causing a lot of uh, problems for you behind the scenes a lot of manipulations paying people to cause you blockages and things like that and he knows you are aware of every subject in his kingdom because this is someone who runs his own kingdom this is how he sees it he runs his own kingdom and he knows exactly everything his subjects have been doing, the actions they've been taking against you to block you from receiving love and commitment in life. Okay, so there's there's something where he's going to have to do is decide. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's going to have to decide. Should I block this person? Should I let them go? Uh, should I let them keep speaking their truth and become successful in life? All kinds of stuff. Or should I end them and keep them stuck? 
Okay, this man is thinking, 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 thinking. And if he makes the wrong decision, uh, everybody's going to be losing something. Not just you collected, but him and the entire kingdom that he runs. This is someone that sits on his throne and he feels no way about what he tells his subject to do, how he runs his kingdom. Okay, he said, I've worked my way to the top. I do as I want. I do as I please. You don't question my authority. And then here you come matching his energy, but you are on a different path than he is right there. You are a healer. Okay. So you run a different path. You're on a different path than this masculine. So it's a little bit tricky for him because he's used to people needing him. He's used to being able to control people, but he knows you see right through him. Even if he were to come to you himself. This is someone that has sent a lot of people to you to do his work, to possibly approach you, give you some type of offer, but you're refusing their offers. Maybe you may not know it. Some of these people are coming towards you in the dream state and you are reading them for the clown energy that they're presenting you with. Like you can see right through them. When they come to you, you know they don't have any genuine intentions for you. And you know what the ramifications are of partnering up with this type of energy, right? So you don't, you're not interested. You're not interested because you know if you go for it and you partner up with them, it's an ending. If they go for it and they try to take you down, it's an ending. So it's best for them to leave you alone and kind of stay on their side of the track. You stay on your side of the track because you know exactly what this whole group what this whole community is about. They don't want to do nothing but cause you problems, manifest endings in your life, okay? There are people in this man's kingdom, and I'm going to say kingdom because this is how he sees it. He sees, he sees his environment as his kingdom. The people he has under him, those are his subjects. That's how he sees it, okay? Uh, so I would, just be, I would just be careful because whatever action this man take, I'm telling you, He's under judgment. This could be a king of swords. This could be a king of swords. Someone is very intellectual. Someone is very quick witted. There could be a king of pentacles here, king of swords energy as well. That's maybe under some type of judgment or the spirit realm has illuminated something to him and called him to do something in order to bring balance into a situation. So he may be doing this discreetly from behind the scenes and you are not aware of it. So something is being, yeah, something is being protected for you. Your destiny is being protected. This is something you don't see. So when all of this is over, Whatever is due to you will be given to you. And this whole group is aware and they're not happy about that because you will receive a solid commitment and some type of friendship as well that's going to lead to a family dynamic, right? You absolutely are a high priestess out of this world. This man has never met anyone like you. There's something where he had to watch you for a while and decide, ah, like for a while he was in this mood. He'll say, mm, I don't know. Like I like her. Then the next minute I don't like her or I like him. The next minute he don't like you feeling your energy, not feeling your energy. Like he had to keep pulling back, pulling back. But a lot of the things that you may have predicted have come through. And so he's gotten out of this energy and into this one as far as you being the truth. Okay, because at first he was a little bit hesitant. He was unsure. He said, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. And then now it's this. He's 100% sure that you are absolutely the truth, right? You are gifted, a little bit too gifted is what he's saying. A little bit too gifted, both in the light and in the dark. When it comes to knowledge, I'm telling you, you have everything. And then listen. The hanging man is right here. So you are gifted in the physical, the spiritual, mental, in everything. And you have the audacity to be a queen of cups on top of all of that. So this man knows that you are 100% authentic when it comes to your gifts. Okay. But he still may want to come in and breadcrumb you and make it seem like it's an investment. Right. I would just be mindful with who you're partnering up with when it comes to business. You are being advised to do your own thing, okay? Create your own path. Move to the beat of your own drum. Oftentimes, and that's part of the reason why we keep seeing that seven of swords. The seven of swords is, is someone... 
people tend to uh, associate negativity with the with the seven of swords very often. But a lot of the times, too, it can have to do with just being someone that moves to the beat of your own drum. And that is something spirit is guiding you to do, right? They're calling you. you they've called you to your purpose. And you've answered. You say you're going to fulfill your purpose. So they're asking you also to move to the beat of your own drum, right? Don't try to be out here being part of any type of community. You don't have to partner up with anyone. This is what a lot of these communities do. These leaders in these communities do. They feel like you have to be part of an organization in order to succeed. No, you do not. You just need to rely on spirit and commit yourself to your destiny, to your path, your purpose, your work. Okay. And you will always get what you need from source. Just be practical about the situation. Okay. Um, but just know that there will be someone coming towards you with an offer. And if you receive or accept this offer from this community, because this is a, a leader within a community that's sending people towards you to make some type of offer to you. If you accept it, you're going to be binded to these people. And it's not just in this lifetime, but it's going to be in multiple lifetimes that you are trapped to these people. Okay, so again, move to the beat of your own drum. There goes that seven of uh, swords again. Move to the beat of your own drum. Be rebellious. Okay, take uh, chances on yourself. And you, yeah, stand your ground. Take chances with yourself, on yourself. You don't got to be part of no collaboration, no community to thrive in life. You are supported. You are divinely supported. The universe is in some type of co creation relationship with you they are co-creating with you so as long as you are doing your part you are secure you don't have to worry about what anyone is doing behind the scenes you don't need to stay, live in fear this is not your energy that they want for you this is the energy they want for you okay yeah this is what they want for you they want you they want you to know that you are protected and you have the option to decide whatever it is you want to do at any time and they will always support you they will always bring balance into any situation for you you just need to stay vigilant and be mindful that there are always going to be people behind the scenes fighting and trying to cause you endings this will always be part of your pathway Okay. And every time they do that, it's meant to strengthen you, not for you to get out here and give up on life. You're always supposed to stand your ground, right? But stay in a healing energy, knowing the truth, but your wish will always be granted by the universe. As long as you take action to go for what you want, you maintain courage, go through that dark night of the soul and stay committed to your path. Trust your intuition right? And keep on seeking higher knowledge, stay in connection with source and being wise as always. Again, you are a magician. Okay. As above, so below. So that lets me know you are someone absolutely powerful in the spirit realm, someone very high ranking. And again, this masculine that's coming after you is not high ranking in the spirit realm. This is just someone that's ordained by peers on the physical. So this is something that is a little bit of a problem for him because this is like someone coming to tell Isis what to do. Is that how are you going to tell Isis what to do? You're kind of like, and I don't want to offend anyone, but it's like you're, you're a subject of Isis. So it's kind of something like that. Okay. So it's something that bothers him because he can have a hundred people in a room and tell them, Tell them to go do this, go and do that, but he can't do that with you because you're not one of his subjects and your 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 ranking is higher than his. Okay, your ranking is higher than his. You're wiser than this person, you know more than he do. You are more like a spirit guy, a earth angel start. Like you are a, a like I don't know, a quadruple threat, whatever they want to call it. I'm getting the energy of someone who's not only a high priestess but a higher fin star see like you're everything in one which means you've incarnated quite a few times thousands of times and you've earned every badge that you have to be in this energy right so this man is doing a lot of thinking and he's trying to make sure whatever move he makes is the right one so he's holding back right now 
But just know that he and his community, I'm telling you, they are watching you in this community. May be planning some type of ending for you. They want to communicate with you about a decision this emperor has made in regards to you. Maybe they want to pay you off to shut up. But he knows, and he may not be telling his people, but he knows that that's not an option. You shutting up and just going away, them ending you is not an option either. Because if they do anything to you, it's going to cause him a lot. It's going to cause him his entire kingdom. So maybe he has a lot of rock rats that are working under him. They just don't know how to calm down. And they still want to come out here and achieve some type of malicious victory. It's not going to be a victory. It's going to be a tower for them. It's going to be a tower for them. This could be like a, a leader that just look, that looks at his subjects and just, just he just holds his head down. It's like, oh my gosh. Like he's tired. He's tired. He may call them knuckleheads a lot. I feel like he sees them as just very, I don't want to say dumb, but he sees them as just incapable. I don't know what that word is. Like there's something about him seeing them as incapable. They're incapable of doing things like he needs them done. I don't know. There's something about him feeling like they're incapable. Sometimes he feels like he's just on the wrong side because of the way they go about things, okay? There's no principle in what it is they do, right? They're always planning something malicious for someone, and it's always an energy that they know they have no business coming after, always energies that know who the heck they are or they've awakened to themselves or energies that are heavily protected and absolutely confident within themselves and have the authority to make judgment in their lives. And they don't know that, but they will take action because they feel like, oh, we're, we're in normal numbers. We're in numbers, right? We've done this a thousand times before. We're more toxic. We're this, we're that. And then they go to take action against you and nothing happens. Uh, nothing bad happens to you, but everything bad happens to them. So this masculine, this emperor, whoever this man is in his community, sitting above his kingdom and watching his subjects, his subjects go by. He's in between a rock and a hard place. It's like, should I balance this situation out or should I destroy this person before they move forward? Should I keep causing them burdens and weighing them down? But he knows every action he's taking. Again, he's under judgment. And if he keeps making the wrong one, this is going to be their, them, the whole community and him included. Okay. Um, so listen, I only have three cars out. <laughs> I only have three cards out. This whole community that this man operates or runs, they're all burdened about you receiving some type of fulfillment in life, some type of wish fulfillment. They want you to be left out in the cold. This is what they're praying for, hoping for. So they're causing you a lot of burden, trying to weigh you down so that you can walk away from your destiny and be in this energy. But for some reason, you keep showing up in this energy and they know that you are heavily protected and you have some type of new beginning coming in, maybe with a king of pentacles uh, that has foresight of the whole situation and is very successful in life. Someone has the gift of manifestation and is very committed to his path as well, or he's very committed to bringing the truth to light. Because he knows the truth now. And he may have some type of direct connection to source. Or he's just very hopeful that the, the choice that he's making or the plans that he's investing in to bring balance into this situation is going to lead to something good. Right? That the universe is going to protect him and support him while he tries to bring balance into this situation. Because right now what these people are wishing for you is for you to be out in the cold. They want this emperor to reject you. They want this emperor to end you. Um, because this emperor does have the authority to do that in the physical, right? He can decide at any moment what it is he wants to do with you. And he can call that judgment, make that judgment, and it's done. But as I said, he understands spiritual laws. So there will be something that happens if he makes the wrong decisions. Okay. And that's not to say like it's a threat or something, but he knows this is someone that's aware of spiritual laws, universal laws and things like that. This is someone that has a high priestess that he goes to, to get readings, to get understandings of things, places, people, and things like that. There is someone on his side that he uses quite frequently to read and get him connected with the information that he needs. 
connection to okay so they want you to be left out in the cold even if you are left out in the cold the universe is still going to balance this out this is a whole family however that's going to be losing a lot this ten of pentacles that they had is over it's all crumbling down and he may know it because of actions his subjects took against you so this kind of ensure or secure their own endings and a lot of these people are burdened in this community but still wanting to take action and come in to do you something and they don't realize every time they plan to do you something because you didn't do anything to these people you've been out here minding your business right and thriving in life every time they take action to invest in an ending for you is making situ the situation situation worse for the whole family. The whole family is going through some type of ending. This kingdom could be over. And if he knows that in order for it to have some type of fresh start, for them to turn a new leaf, they're going to have to balance something out with you. I've seen that time and time again flipping my, my uh, deck. They're going to have to be practical about this situation uh maybe even just leave you alone so that you can get on with your journey there's something like that all right you're gonna have to cut their laws and move on be practical about this situation and move on okay uh this is quite an interesting down low yeah 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 yeah, yeah. these people are <laughs> listen these people are going through it behind the scenes and they're desperate to shut you up hide you um, but their leader knows any type of, uh, uh, impulsive action they're taking, any type of impulsive action he takes to cause you an ending is going to lead to some type of ending for him as well. Okay. Um, yeah, and honey, I'm telling you, it's going to lead to some type of ending and he's trapped in his mind about some type of decision. And I don't know if this is like the King of Pentacles or whoever this is. There is some type of divine meeting that's supposed to take place between two people from opposite sides. This could be a king of cups coming from the dark and you are the star sea coming from the light. And you're, this is a connection that's divinely meant to be. Everybody is under judgment. This entire community is under judgment. So they're going to have to decide what's, what's worth it. Do they want to have their kingdom, Right. Or do they want to stay under judgment and keep going through burdens? These people are absolutely way down about two people coming together and they've been trying to hold someone back. Either the masculine back and they're trying to hold you back as well. You, the divine feminine, they've been doing everything to hold you back. But they know in divine timing, you two will be coming together, working together. There's really nothing they can do about this. So they're just trying to cause as much stagnation as possible, but it's not really stagnation because where this is how it was divinely meant to be. So whatever is supposed to take place is taking place. And when the time comes for you and this person to connect, you will connect. Okay. You will absolutely connect, go through some type of rebirth, may have to say goodbye to the past, cut your losses where you are, both of you in order to move on and start your new life together or whatever this is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do the Oracle, the tea leaf Oracle cards. Listen, I only got five cards out today. Most of my reading are intuitive. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and do our tea leaf Oracle card readings. And then we can move on to the next. Okay. We have the score. Oh my gosh. Uh, so someone out there be, uh, just when you have the score, it oftentimes means that someone may be getting sick within the family. So there could be someone that's sick within this organization, this family dynamic, this enterprise, this code, this COVID, whatever this is. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you want to be mindful as well with how you're dealing with other people, because there could be some type of, uh, um, malicious plan being set up against you or you want to be mindful as well of the words you're using because people may be trying to take your words out of context in order to ha uh, set something up to get a reaction out of you so that some type of uh, like minuscule situation situation can escalate to something that is not meant to escalate to so just be cautious of who you are interacting with, what you're saying, what you're doing. If you know someone is not very much fond of you, stay away from them. Don't force yourself to interact with them. Okay. And if someone, um, you know, you just don't get a good vibe from them. Just don't force it. 
because I think there's something where people are trying to get some type of reaction out of you so you can act out of character when you are typically someone's very practical and someone in control of your emotions and you tend to kind of just walk away when people do stupid things trying to stupid things trying to hold you back and things like that you typically just kind of think about the situation from a higher perspective and move on but they're trying to get some type of reaction from you so that you can kind of spaz out or just i'm hearing give up or something like that don't do that someone is falling ill within a community or someone has fallen ill within a community and they may not be able to recover someone may be about to transition to the other realm anyways thank you so much for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next read and goodbye for now